by Bowling around his legs. Beautiful bowling. Superb control. Powell just lunging forward. Spun enough to take leg stump. His 80th wicket in 2005 for Shane Warne. They brought in the leg gully. Just tried to glide it past him and it's knocked over the leg stump. It's turned a long way. Powell start to fancy himself scoring runs on the onside. That's probably not a bad thing for the West Indies to lose that wicket and get Brian Lara out there. Brian has bowled him. Bowled him out of the rough. Gooch not even uh, playing a shot. Well, he was sort of attempting to kick the ball away, but that spun a long way. This is an absolutely extraordinary dismissal. Got him! That's what ball Shane Warne. What a wicket that is. He's really teed him up. And he has struck just before lunch. Well, he's played so well, Shane Dupont. He'd be so disappointed. He's uh, almost got them to lunch. And then all of a sudden, Warne strikes. piece of bowling from Warren. He's made a few batsmen look a bit foolish over the years and there's no disgrace in Andrew Strauss looking a bit foolish but he did hear real side spin from one. I am just measuring the distance here so we move now to nine feet. This ball pitched nine feet from the popping crease and very wide on uh, the return crease, absolutely amazing. Right in the middle of the rough area, admittedly, but the level of spin, quite extraordinary. Having a look at it again, now watch the, Andrew Strauss's eyes. He seems to be covering that ball. People are saying he didn't play it all that well. He seems to have had that ball covered. His eyes were in a good position, but he's done simply by uh, the amount of spin. And uh, now, we, we are able to superimpose the landing of this ball, okay? I can move to where Strauss was standing here. And off we go with Hawkeye now. So here I am trying to play this ball. And I see its line and I want to get myself in line with it. But the ball comes in behind me. I mean, unbelievable bit of bowling. But Warren's been doing that for as long as we've seen him in this country. I keep seeing it and it still looks a pretty decent ball to me and, and maybe would I have swept it, could I have swept it? You know, you ask all the sort of same questions. I asked Warney, how would you have played it, Warney? He said, I probably swept it and got a top edge and got out. So, you know, it, it's again one of those uh, wonderful highlights of the game, one of those bits of history that uh, um, belongs not only to me but to uh, probably the best leg spinner of all time. So. Um, you know, well bowled Warney, uh, unlucky me, but uh, I say it's nice to be a part of history and that's what this great game's about. Well, you do have those sort of balls. I remember once or twice at Lords here where, uh, you know, uh, John Lieber bowled me one that sort of pitched, uh, pitched middle, swung into me and then seemed back up the hill and hit the top of off and, you know, got no chance of playing those. Likewise, uh, Waka Yunis did the same thing. He, he bowled an in-swinger that pitched middle and hit the top of off. So, you know, how do you play those sort of balls? You're just going to get them now and again. But I have to say, probably 90% of the time you get yourself out, so uh, I suppose uh, you've got to have the odd good ball now and again.